Jesus is still opening the eyes of the spiritually blind. Now, I want you to see something back in the scripture here. If you look down here um, in uh, verse one, at the end of verse one, it says, to proclaim liberty to the captives and opening of the prison to, the, to those who are bound. That sounds like the same thing. Liberty to the captives, opening of prison to those who are bound. But if you look down in the footnote, did, did you ever look at the footnotes in the Bible? It says, this is a hard verse to translate. The Hebrew language is a little vague on this. And literally, the better translation, what it really means, as a matter of fact, if you read Luke 4 when Jesus read it, this is actually what he said. He said that it um, is opening the eyes of the spiritually blind. Sin blinds us. It blinds us to the reality of God. It actually blinds us to the destructive nature of sin. It blinds us to uh, the fact that we're no more righteous than any other sinner on the planet. And so we need God to open our eyes. Sin blinds us, Satan blinds us. He he puts a veil over our eyes so we can't see the glorious nature of Jesus, so that we can't see our need for a savior. And Jesus is still opening the eyes of the blind. By the way, when you encounter unbelievers, would you have compassion on them as you would if you met a blind person, they, they may be running around bumping into things. They may be hitting you in the head with their cane. Don't get mad at them. They're blind. Have compassion on them. They can't see what we see. We have trouble seeing what we see. And so have compassion. In order for us to be saved, in order for us to come into the kingdom, God has to open our eyes. Do you remember before you met the Lord, before you were converted, how you thought you could see? But when the Lord took the scales off and you could really see the sin in your own life and the destructive nature and how it separated from you from God, it's like, oh, now I see. And now I see the glorious nature of Christ. I mean, the people that are sleeping in on Sunday morning when it's 20 below, they can't see this stuff. What drug you here is because you wanted to see it again. It was so beautiful to you. You had to gaze at it again. You had to get your Bible open. You had to wrap your mind around the beauty of Christ. That's what happens when God opens the eyes of the spiritually blind.